Hey, what's happening guys? I want to start off by apologizing for the crunching noises that you will hear during today's video because Dogly is having a bone this morning. Alright, so what I wanted to talk to you about today is this little setup that I've got going right here. We have our Arduino. In this case, I'm using the Nano, but any Arduino will work. I've simply broken out the 5 volt and the ground pins to the uh, VCC and ground rails, and I've brought them to both sides of the board. And then you will notice we only have one pin connected. That is uh, digital pin number four. And yet we have two LEDs alternatingly blinking. Now, I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way here and just show you on the computer because it's such a simple thing that there's absolutely no reason for me to bring up another window and all that stuff. That's the whole code. Pin mode four set the output. And then we just have it turn on for a second and off for a second. Nothing big going on there. All right, back in the holder. So why do I think this is a uh, an important concept to understand? Well, this is the most basic form of what's known as diode steering. Okay? So these digital pins on the Arduino are able to both sync and source current, which means... When I turn this pin on, when I say digital write 4, comma high, it's going to output a 5 volt signal on that pin. So if we follow 5 volts through this diode, so you can't go through this one, this, will, this one is reverse biased, goes through this diode, and then it is going to go through this 220 ohm resistor to the anode of the LED and then to ground. So that's what happens when this is on. Now when I write digital write for comma low and it goes low, what's going to happen now is that the VCC from here comes through this LED, through this resistor, well I'm sorry, through this <laughs> LED, through this resistor, and back through that diode. It can't make this turn here. It can't make a U-turn and come and hit this one. And it can't go back through here. So, simple diode steering. There's nothing complicated about it, but it's a really useful technique. It allows you to take advantage of the Arduino's ability to sync and source current. And if you're making something for cosplay or stage, or decoration, or whatever, you're, whatever you're trying to play around with with LEDs, this will allow you to use twice the number of LEDs you have. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed this little video in our Arduino Foundation series. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.